Kia ora runners. Now are you tired of the overwhelming choices and running gear and training methods? Well today we're stripping it right back to one simple powerful exercise, the 100 up drill. So stick around to become a more efficient runner with probably the simplest most effective running drill that you'll ever do and you're probably not doing now and it requires absolutely no equipment. The 100 up is a strength building foundation setting exercise recommended by Born to Run 2 co-authors Christopher McDougall and Eric Orton. Now they believe it's essential to revive our legs and get those mechanics grooving. Now the 100 up drill was developed by the legendary Walter George in the 1800s. Now George had to work long hours as a pharmacist behind a counter limiting his running time for an entire year so he came up with a simple specific drill to work on running mechanics when he couldn't run now this drill transformed him into a world record holder with a four minute 12 second mile in 1886 and this was a record that would stand for almost 30 years so starting this drill was really simple, mark two lines on the ground about shoulder width apart, then with one foot on each line and your back nice and straight, raise your right knee to hip height, driving your left arm forward. Then simply alternate the legs, just like you're marching in place, focus on your form. If you start to lose it so you can't get that knee up to hip height, then that's your cue to stop, even if you haven't hit that 100 mark yet. Now if you're thinking, well this is way too easy, then let's kick it up a notch. What we do is if we need that extra push over the cliff, you know what we do? Oh, put it up to a 11, mark. exactly. Once you've mastered that slow march, you can increase the speed of the march and then shift to running in place, but keeping those knees high and staying on those marks. Now the beauty of this simple drill is you can do the 100 up anywhere. You can do it when you're catching your favorite show, when you're behind your desk, but remember, keep the knees to the waist and stick to those marks. Form is critical. It is simply the most time efficient, effective drill that I've come across. When I do that march, it takes me about a minute and five seconds. Going to that jog, it's around 20 to 30 seconds depending on that speed. Such a quick, effective way to cement fantastic running mechanics when you're not running. So, how many times should you do the drill? The frequency? Well, look, it really varies. If you've missed out on a run, maybe trying to do it three to six times in that day, it's only gonna take 30 seconds to a minute each time. I sometimes do it between clients when I'm treating them as a physiotherapist. Or you could throw it in a couple of times in a day that you've already done an easy run, just to really maximize that form. The 100 up drill is your ticket to stronger, injury resistant running legs. So lace up those shoes or hit, just go barefoot. Let's get those legs 100 up ready. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more performance and well-being tips to improve your running experience. So get out there, earn those miles, get strong with simple drills like this one. Champion Compassion and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.